He was 15 years old when he shot and killed his parents and sister. Today, he says he is a changed man. It has taken me many years to face the monstrous acts I committed. Alfred Brown, now 55, wants parole and minimum security prison. How, how do you feel about that now, that you've murdered your, your family? I feel really bad about it. In Topsfield, January 1978, one of the most horrific murders of the time. Using the rifle he got for Christmas, Brown shot and killed his mother over a failed grade. Then he murdered his 20-year-old sister and father. I shot at him at least twice. He Apologizing, said, Brown says he was bullied as a Japanese-American child, aside. lonely uh, and isolated, reading books about fact, terrorism and homicide. He, he had no empathy for him. others, all leading to a personality disorder. You do have personality disorders that contribute to this, but society would say, well, so what? Essentially, you committed a mass shooting, and now you're here asking us to parole someone that has mental health issues. Since his conviction, Brown attacked inmates and guards and tried to escape in 1980. Prosecutors say he created hit lists against a judge, police chief, and attorneys. What I saw that day was the face a pure, unadulterated evil. Alfred Brown scares me, but if you let him out, he will kill again. His only surviving sister wrote to keep him behind bars. He had no remorse after the fact and felt that they deserved it. Do you want to be responsible for letting someone like that out into society? And that sister says she changed her name, afraid he might get out. No decision today. In Natick, Sean Shai about WCVB News Center 5. We're following some breaking.